Welcome back guys. In this video, we will talk about how to track conversions in Google Ads. See conversions, uh, you know, I can speak for hours on conversions. Conversions is the most important thing or it's at the heart of digital marketing made through AdWords or Facebook or Quora or LinkedIn. You would invest a lot of money, you create a lot of campaigns, but remember you got to track the revenue and you got to track the number of conversions or you, tra you want to use some advanced bidding strategies which are like CPA or ROAS or maximize conversions, right? All these smart bidding strategies which Google is really emphasizing us to really adopt, right? You can use them provided you give system the opportunity to track the behavior of those people not just behavior, but to a point that they'll even be able to understand the macro conversions that people do on your site, right? Now, if you're talking about Google Analytics, Google Analytics will help you capture two different actions. First one is the micro conversions, macro conversions. Now, if you're an analytics geek, you'll understand what I'm really talking about. You don't just track the macro conversions. You got to track those micro conversions as well, because people will not be able to, or people will not do the macro actions unless they complete these micro events. So you got to track them and you would have a follow up plan. See, marketing is a process. Marketing is a process, right? You got to stay in touch continuously. And that is where people say, or that is where I say a lot of times, marketing or many have a marketing plan, only if you have a follow up plan. And those follow -up plans can be done provided you track extensively. And in this video, I'm going to show you one such thing, how to track conversions that are generated from Google Ads. Let's jump in. So this is your, imagine you create a lot of campaigns. I don't have to teach you about this. This is a new account I just created. And uh, you can go through my playlist. There are amazing videos so far. I, I don't think you'd ever find a playlist on YouTube in the country which teaches so extensively or so in depth. Continue to watch. If you haven't sub subscribed to my channel, please do so. We have some amazing content. Right, so yeah, to track conversions. Okay, before we go to conversions, let's talk about this thing. Let, let, let's get this straight. I've created campaigns, I've invested a lot of money, I've got 1,000 clicks or 10,000 clicks or invested 10,000 rupees. But eventually what my focus is when I've invested 1,000, 10,000 rupees, how much I have got. Because when I know how much I've got, that will put me in a position that I go back to AdWords and say, yes, AdWords is working. It's getting me three times more than my investment. So that will propel me or that will, that will motivate me to invest more and that's how I will get more revenue. See, businesses always focus on growth and wherever they find growth, they'll not think about spending money because they know money breeds money and you can get money only when you invest money and that is how you you plan your strategy that's how you have a mindset of growth so now imagine i've created a campaign but i want to track the important actions that people do after they click on the ad and once they come to my site i want to capture if they do something very important for my business and that is why google have something called conversion tracking so to to create a conversion or to want to track conversions you go click on settings and once you click on settings, you come here in the measurement, you have conversions. Once you come to conversions, there's a new account, pretty new account just created to create the last video and this video. If you haven't, uh, you know, saw the entire playlist in, 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 in order, please go back. Don't just jump my videos because you will not be able to catch my pace or you will not be able to understand, you know, where I am trying to take you to. So now Google ads help you achieve your goals. It's very important. I will talk about how important it is, how you can effectively use them, you know, to a point that sometimes, sometimes people get amazed. People ask me, can we even do this to that extent? So people see, there's no point in just becoming a random tool expert that will never help you. You got to have some special skills, impeccable skills. Only then you can think of making a career and you can be so sure that come what may I would, I would survive in this industry. And that will happen when you have some great impeccable skills. Oh, wonderful. Right. So when I click on conversion here, a conversion like I showed you, click on conversions, and uh, yeah, four types of conversion. First one is website, ad, app, phone calls. Now, phone calls is nothing but if if see if, if you're in a business and you drive phone calls, you don't drive people to your website. You rather focus on getting more phone calls. And you say, hey, if people see my ad and then call me and speak to me for so and so time, I want to count it as conversion because my business drives or driven by phone calls. We will talk about that uh, in a while, but right now let's start with website. Now, once people click on the ad, they come to my site and they might do some actions, they might buy, but I want to track if they buy, right? So that I can, I can understand how much of revenue I've got, right? So when you click on this, the category, yeah, this is very important. Remember guys, it's very important. This is the, the what do you say? The, the, the category in which you would, you would tie or for example, if you have, if you're tracking maybe 15 type of conversions, you can group them together, right? You can group them together. So, right. So, for, so first I say, maybe I'm, I'm tracking the purchase. So I click on purchase here and I give a name as, uh, you know, you know, bootcamp confirmation. 
imagine I want to track those people who come to my website and give me a confirmation and uh, yeah it's asking me value value is talk, it's called conversion value if you understand what is conversion value only when you'll be able to understand the revenue see how do you calculate revenue revenue is nothing but number of conversions into conversion value for example if you have 10 conversions and each conversion value is thousand rupees you say my conversion value is 10,000 rupees or if you have one conversion and your conversion value is 10,000 rupees you will still say my conversion value is 10,000 rupees so conversion value is the factor or is the is the, is the number or is the value through which you would be able to decide your revenue right and uh, so yeah it is giving me three options it's asking me hey do do you want me to cal take the same number so if i say 1000 rupees here every time a conversion happens google will say hey you got 1000 rupees if i put 10000 rupees here every time a conversion happens google will say you got 10000 rupees but there are certain situations imagine you are into e-commerce e-commerce industry and and people buy different products which have different value so in that case you can't give a standard number you have to go with this option where you say yeah i'm giving one default value which is maybe 2000 rupees but my value keeps changing it depends on user the type of product he purchases so what you do is in those websites you can capture that value the conversion value or the value that people buy and that value you can only get it on the thank you page and that is where we get introduced to a concept of data layers guys now data layers is a concept that people with 8 10 years of digital marketing also fail to understand i'm not saying they'll they'll fail to implement no they can't even understand that is how intensive because that deals with a lot of development work and unless you get to a point that you learn data layers and how to push data layers how to read values from the data layers and how to put them into different tags and send them to different marketing platforms no you'll never be able to tie uh, you know the the user in his journey and, and and try and reach him with an effective ad strategy for growth right so yeah so i'm going with this option or if you don't want google to have some value you simply want google to count conversions one two three but you don't want to uh, tell google hey, google this is the value have got or this is the this is the for example if i say zero I, I, i'm telling google no i don't want to i don't want you to count anything so if you get 10 conversions google will only say 10 conversions 10 but if google has to know if google has to know what is your roa so google has to know what is your you know what do you say uh, how much of revenue you got Google will not be able to do that because Google have no idea about the value that you make for conversions per conversion. So here I, I, I will say 2000 rupees. I will say you have to now re remember this is a variable. I will use it as a variable and I will keep changing it. How I would I would capture the value from data layers through Google Tag Manager. And that is why Tag Manager is such an amazing tool. You know, for marketers is, is such a is such a you know amazing amazing tool you know people love tag manager and if you really want to learn tag manager you can join a bootcamp we teach you at a level that you don't find anywhere in the whole country trust me count now this is very important remember see if you are a user you come to my site you click on my google ad imagine see again i want to i want to make one point here okay people come to my site and people fill the form people fill the form and they go to thank you page that means thank you page is the final page that people will go after they make a purchase and that is why thank you page is very very important or a confirmation page or a submission page or success page you gotta have it and the only way to go to that page is to make sure the people fill the form so in my website make marketer we have an application form and if people fill the form they go to thank you page and whoever goes to thank you page means they've converted on my site right but when it comes to adwords remember if 100 people come to your site and fill the application form and go to thank you page you've got 100 sales but Google will not call all 100 as sales because Google will only count those sales as conversions provided or only those sales which have come from Google Ads. So you got 100 sales. But out of 100 sales, only 20 sales have come from AdWords and Google will only count conversions as 20, not 100. So you got to understand the difference between sale and conversion. A sale is any sale. It doesn't matter if it's come from Google or YouTube or Facebook or, or Instagram or LinkedIn. But conversion in AdWords will only be counted provided that sale happens after an ad click. So if a person converts on your site and he doesn't happen to click on your ad or there's no history of him clicking on the ad, then Google will not count it. That means Google is not going to take credit for conversion that never really happened through Google. Why do you want to give credit to Google when you know that conversion never happened through Google, right? So Facebook also works the same way. Facebook will only take conversions credit provided they know that person who converted on your site was referred through Facebook. So you hope you understand. Now, so I'm talking about the conversion count here. Now, when you talk about conversion count here, the most important point that you have to remember here is if a person clicks on the ad today and purchases today and tomorrow he comes and purchases, he doesn't click the ad. He clicked the ad today. He came and bought again. He remembers the website tomorrow. He comes directly and purchases again. He purchases on third day like that. Imagine next 10 days. He buys 10 times. 
Do you want to count all 10 of them as conversions? Or you want to count only one as conversions? It depends on business to business. If you are an e-commerce website, you want to track all of them. But if you are a training institute or a training bootcamp, a person fills 10 applications doesn't mean he'll join 10 times. So you want to count only one. So it depends on business. So I am going with e-commerce. So I'd say, hey, it doesn't really matter if he clicks the ad once and he buys 10 times. I want to count 10 of them as conversions. Right. Now, you might have a question here. For how long Google can remember that? That depends on something called conversion window. So conversion window talks about the particular point. If I say 30 days, if a person clicks on the ad today and purchases in the next 30 days as well, Google will still count it as conversion. That means you don't have to say, hey, a person has clicked on the ad today and he has to buy today. No, person clicks on the ad today and he happens to buy in the next 30 days. And it doesn't matter. He has to come from Google ad only on, you know, on the day when he purchases. Let, let, let's, get, let, let's get it straight. If you click on the ad today, you come to my site and you didn't buy. Right. You went on 17th day you came back directly or, or, or 18th day you come from YouTube or 19th day you come from WhatsApp or 21st day you come from Twitter and you buy on 20th day. Google will still take the credit even though the person on the date of purchase which is 21 came from Twitter Google will still take the credit because Google checks the path and in the path there is an ad click in the last 30 days. And that is what it says. So when you say 30 days, remember, Google will count those conversions that happen within 90 days after the ad click. So you don't have to click today and buy today. You click today and buy next 90 days as well. Google will still count it as conversions because and Google tracks all these things through a cookie. Right. And the maximum duration that Google has AdWords, you know, it's 90 days. Right. Conversion. See, conversions can happen after a person interacts with your ad. Select the maximum time after an ad interaction. You don't expect people to buy today. Now, again, see, if you're into a business where you say, hey, my product is very expensive and people take a lot of time. People at least need like one month before they make a decision. So in that case, you can put 30 days. No, my product is very cheap. I don't think they ever need uh, a time duration of 15, 20 days for them to decide. They can instantly decide. In that case, you can keep a conversion window of maybe one week. That means people click the ad today and buy next one week only, it will be counted. If they happen to buy after one week, Google will not be able to count because Google doesn't track them, right? This is called conversion window. Right. View through conversion. It, now, this is only for display network. View through conversion. View through conversion specifically talk about this point. See, people click on the ad, people come to my site, and people buy. Google will count it and within whatever conversion window. They don't have to click today and buy today. Remember again. Right. View through conversion. What happens is in display network. Display network. You might be really aware that you'll see. You, you, you'll get a lot of impression, but you don't get clicks. Now, as part of impressions, what happens is people might see your ad, but they don't click on the ad. But because they've seen the ad, they might remember it and then go to the site. So question, he never clicked on the ad, he just saw the ad and because he saw the ad, he came to your site directly and purchased. So now ask yourself, do you not want to attribute that conversion to display ad? You should. Had that display ad not been there, he would not have got the idea to go to site. So display network ad or display ad is also contributing. So that is why when people see the ad, they don't click on the ad. After they see the ad and then go to the website and purchase. Within one day, Google will still count it as conversions. No, you want to keep it, increase the duration, you can still put it, increase the day count, so I could say seven days maybe. So what happens is when I go with this option, if a person sees, sees the ad and purchases in next seven days also, Google will still count it as conversion, but Google will count it as view through conversion. And this is only applicable for display network. I'm just giving you an overview if you really want to see there's no point in just getting the knowledge because digital marketing is something or Google AdWords is something unless you get your hands wet, unless you get into the thick of things, you would never learn. You know, you, you might think, yes, I know, but I don't know. That will never work. That never worked with me and that never worked with all of my clients. That is why I have years of experience. People come down 10 years, 12 years, they come down to a boot camp and then still begin with the basics. And that is why we don't take everybody into boot camp. We are very, very selective. We want those people who are special. We want those people who are, you know, really passionate to do something in this world. And we want those people who are problem solvers. So very selective. And if you really wanted to make a career and that will happen only when you have some impeccable skill and that will happen when you, when you learn something at a very deeper level. And that is exactly what we do at boot camp. We run India's first 100% real-time bootcamp. You can check out our videos. You'll understand the quality we're talking about. We are first and we're the finest. And there's nothing in the whole country that even comes close. Attribution model. I'll talk about attribution later. Attribution. How do you want to attribute? See, attribution nothing but in the path. There are multiple touch points. This ad, first ad, second ad, third ad, fourth ad, and then conversion. Right. The fourth ad got the conversion. But you want to give success only to fourth ad. 
or you want to give success to the other ads that were in the journey. But generally what Google ads does is by default, it will give conversion to the fourth ad. Why? It was the last one. So what happens is this optimization is very, very wrong. Generally what happens is when you find, when you talk about CPA cost per acquisition and all those things, that is not cost per acquisition. That is generally last ad click cost per acquisition, we call it, right? So because all these, all this strategy and all this functionality, it all takes into account the last click attribution model where you completely ignore all the other keywords, campaigns that were assisted, that initiated the process. So you can't really do optimum uh, campaign management when you don't understand these little, little things and not little, they're very basics, but you got to really implement them at a higher level. And I've never seen people with less than five, seven years of experience to really understand. You know, you, it takes a little time to, to figure out because there's so many things in digital marketing because you know, there's so many things work together. That's why we don't have a single channel marketing. That's why we call it omni channel marketing or a, or a, or a, or a multi, multi channel marketing mix or a, or a multi channel funnel marketing or a full channel marketing right? or full funnel marketing. So people use different words. Right. So, and again, what Google does is you have the code here, you know, and that code is called global site tag and you take this tag and you put this tag on all pages of your site because see conversions happens on your site. They click on the Google ad and they come to the site and conversion happen on your site. And you have to take this code and put that on your final page. Why final page? Thank you page. Because that is the page that confirms conversion happened. Right. And when you paste this code on that page, whenever people go to that page, Google will fire this code and tell servers to count it as conversions. But remember, Google will only count it as conversion provided they find a click in the last 30 days or 40 days or 90 days according to your conversion window. Just because people go to thank you page and you have this code on the thank you page, Google will not count it as conversion. Google will only count conversions that were coming through or that are coming through Google Ads. Right? Yeah, this is, this is called global site tag. This has to be placed on all the site. And this is the event snippet. This is the snippet that tracks the actual conversion. And this, 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 uh, this event code will only work if you have global site tag. So if, even if you place this code, it will not work because this code works, works in association with this code. So first thing is you got to place this global site tag. It's called G tag. And then you paste this code. Now, Prashant, I have a thank you page and I know people go to thank you page page load. So I can put this on page load. Or no, Prashant, I don't have thank you page. I have a button. When people click on the button, I want to capture it. So what I can do is I can go capture this and ask your developer to put this on the button by using a command on click, right? No, you don't want to do that. You can use Tag Manager, amazing platform. You can capture all those clicks. You can create a trigger for that click and you can deploy this tag when people click on that button. Right? So you can do either ways. So I am going with the page load option, I simply take it and put it on thank you page using tag manager and fire it on thank you page. The trigger would be thank you page. Right. So done. Simple. Right. So when people click on the ad and go to this thank you page, Google will count it as a conversion version in, in, in not just today, in next 30 days. Now there's one point I want to highlight here. If people click on the ad, Google, Google drops a cookie for 30 days because the window is 30 days, right? And if, I, if ever conversion happens in next 30 days, Google will count it as conversion. Now, if a person deletes the cookie and he comes back, Google will not count because even though it is, it is within 30 days, Google will not be able to know because there's no cookie. And that is why all these are cookie based functionalities. I would talk about cookies or I have already created a video. It's yet to go on YouTube. It's an amazing video. We have created one amazing, amazing, uh, you know, channel or a playlist for analytics, an exhaustive playlist. You would never find anything of that sort in the whole country. And, you know, we do some amazing, crazy stuff with that. You can continue to uh, watch the other videos in the playlist and subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and tell people if they really want to make a career check out digital marketing bootcamp you can just check out